Before this year, TV3 News team shed light on the plight of pupils of Asin Kutubabi DA Primary. This structure in Blackboard served the needs of pupils and a knife was used as an improvised sharpener. The headmaster summed up the predicament of the pupils. Look at what we have as a blackboard and we are using this. How can they perform? We come here to sing and dance and go. Pupils of Asin DA may soon smile at a storm after TV3 News team first drew the attention of duty bearers to poor state of the school structure. When a news team visited a school, building materials had been deployed. This, according to the district chief executive, Kabna Anomafo, is a commencement of a three classroom block project. The school that you talk about, as I speak to you now, is that the contractor is there, three unit classroom block, and it has been under construction. And so that, their case, will be over very soon. The chief of Asin Kotobabi, Nana Abe Kobeidu, said he hoped the assembly would complete the work as promised. He stressed that quality education is key to empowering citizens. The assembly realized the current state of the school is very bad, so they promised to build one for us before the elections. Until the project is completed, pupils will have to study in this structure, which is an improvement over the previous one. Some residents of Setra Franklin District in the Ashanti region trek several miles to access the nearest health facility. They explain this is impacting adversely on maternal health care. A report by Catherine Frimpoma. The Setra Franklin District is one of the newly created district assemblies in the Ashanti region, which has Jobonso as its capital. A prominent geographical feature of the district is the sparse nature of communities, a situation that makes it difficult to access critical social amenities such as health. Communities such as Mempekasa have no health facility. Residents have to travel 18 kilometers to the nearest health facility, which is located at Isekra. <laughs> Some years back, sick people were carried on our shoulders to the hospital. We are lucky motorbikes now ply the road, though it is deplorable. Health workers at the Isekra Clinic are worried cases are reported late to the center. The private health center that is patronized by residents lack facilities for effective health delivery. We don't have any lights here. Neither do you also have water. We base on rainwater. And for about three months, um, two weeks now, we just had one yesterday. So supposing in case we get to the dry season, there won't be any water for the nurses to use, to talk of the patient too. So I will plead if the government can do something about the lighting system and the, the water. Since we started this week, we kill one snake, the cobra type. So if lights are around, we'll be able to locate them so that we also save our lives. Residents of Jamestown say citing health facilities closer to communities is crucial to serving their needs. It's affecting the community because if there is an emergency, we normally face some consequences that if, if the person needs to die, he has to die. Because there was a circumstances when last year a lady died around this area when they are trying to send her to the Clinic. Don Kofuseni is a district chief executive of the district. When it comes to health, it is not so much about the communities, but it's the population that can assess it. So for us, for now, we rather want to put it at a common area of location for them that they can easily assess. When the population goes up and the pressure on the facility goes up, then you think about expansion. As Ghana strives to provide quality health care for women and children, it is imperative to cater for the health needs of deprived communities. 
That will be all for Mission tonight. We'll be back same time on New Street Street City tomorrow. But Mission is sponsored by Star Ghana, Danida, DFID and European Union. My name is Josephine Frimpong and good evening.